I uh, thought I'd give us a quick demo on how to um, take a cutting. This plant's got a little bit too tall for the, my growing area out here, so I'll just chop a few pieces off and um, what we'll do is try and strike some cuttings from it. Alright, um, I'm just going to take a two leaf cutting from this just to show you uh, how I go about it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll give it a good length between each internode um, and chop it off right about here. This might take some doing, so just bear with me for a sec. Alright, um, I've chopped through the plant. It was a bit woody, so it uh, took a bit of sawing through it. But it's not too bad of a cut, nice and neat. Um, what I'll do now is I'm going to cut a 45 down here. And what I'll also do is um, cut half a leaf, or say three quarters of the leaf off. Um, and I'm just going to have to turn the camera off because this takes two hands, but I'll show you once I've finished. Alright, so I've cut the end off. I'll basically give it a 45 degree cut here. What um, I'll also do is chop through these leaves. So I'll try and do this one handed. So what I'm doing is probably reducing the leaf down to maybe a third of what it was. Um, and I'll do the same over here. That's just to help um, with a bit of water loss, less leaf, less um, evaporation of water from the leaf. So what I also do is seal the end of the cut up at the top here. So this is um, basically a tar-based substance, but if I can get it in there, you probably need to slop it around a bit. Well, that's not working, is it? A bit tricky so what I did is just pour a little bit out so all I'll do is dab the end into it here it's a fairly thick sort of substance um, and that will help seal up the wound at the top this is just a commercial product you can pretty much get it anywhere um, well, so with the other end what we, all, what we can also do I'll take this out of the way Right, what I've done is cut a few slots in the base of the stalk here as well, maybe four or five, uh, just to allow it to root a little bit easier, just before I dip it into the rooting hormone, which I've got here. So, just a, this is just a powder. I also make a gel as well, but today I'm just going to use the powder. So, I just dip the end into the powder, give it a good coating around, and there we go. Now, all I need to do now is to pot it. This is just a mix of um, perlite and sphagnum moss. Um, and what we do is insert the cane and give it a little bit of a tamp down. Make sure it's nice and solid in there. And hopefully um, we get some roots growing soon. And another flower. Alright, um, we finished. Uh, taking our cuttings. I usually stick four or five in a pot like this. Um, let them go, see how they go. Once they start growing a few roots I might move them out into an individual pot. But before I finish um, I spray them with this stuff that's called Envy. Um, water based product. What it basically does is um, puts a protective coating over the leaves. So give it a good spray around. And once that dries out it forms a film. Now the plant can still breathe through this um, film but it helps moisture loss. So it uh, slows down the drying out process so um, don't have to be so delicate with them. Uh, any sort of uh, humidity tent or anything like that over here. Our um, climate's uh, quite humid here so basically just give them a quick spray with this stuff. Um, uh, maybe give them another spray down the track if it looks like it's starting to wear off but um, that like I said will help um, reduce moisture loss until they start growing some roots.